Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Silver. I have the privilege of being Vice President and Medical Director of the Cancer Research and Treatment Fund. Today, you will hear just one example of the many exciting studies we are performing at the Silver Myeloproliferative Neoplasm Center, or the NPN Center as we call it for short, at Wild Cornell Medicine. It will be presented by Dr. Gaith Abu Zaina, Assistant Professor of Medicine, and one of our outstanding young researchers. Thank you so much for your generous support. A very happy holiday season from all of us at CRMT. Hello. This year was a productive one for the Silver Myeloproliferative Neoplasm, or MPN, Center. We have conducted and published a number of important studies that are practice changing. With these studies, we make evidence-based treatment recommendations that would improve the lives of our MPN patients. Back in March of this year, we published a study in the journal Leukemia titled Interferon Alpha for Treating Polycythemia Vera Improves Myelofibrosis Free and Overall Survival. More than 30 years after Dr. Silver introduced interferon alpha for the treatment of PV, we now have evidence that this treatment prevented disease progression and improved the life of patients of all age groups. We also acknowledge that irrespective of the initial treatment, PV patients at Cornell had better outcomes than PV patients in the United States. PV is a blood cancer and a chronic disease that over many years to decades can cause potentially fatal complications, including cardiovascular events and more aggressive cancers. We wanted to see whether the treatment of PV at a specialty center like ours can prevent these risks and improve longevity. This led to our more recent study published in the journal Leukemia in October titled, Normal Life Expectancy for Polycythemia Vera Patients is Possible. In this study, we compared the survival of PV patients treated at our center over the past several decades to the survival of PV patients across the United States using the National Cancer Institute registry known as SEER. We also compared these outcomes to what the expected survival for people in the United States of similar age and demographics was. We had three key findings from the study. First, the median survival of PV patients at Weill Cornell was on average 10 years longer than reported for PV patients in the National SEER Registry who were matched by age, sex, and race. The second key finding, in the early phase of the study, perhaps the first 15 years of the course of PV, the survival of PV patients at Weill Cornell was similar to the general population without PV suggesting that there was no excess death from this disease in the early phase. However, disease progression to myelofibrosis was inevitable in about 50% of patients after 30 years of follow-up. This kind of led to our, this led to our third key finding, which was the excess death from progression of disease to myelofibrosis can be prevented with interferon alpha. In fact, patients treated with interferon alpha had a normal life expectancy across the 30-year duration of follow-up. Their survival was comparable to the age-matched population without PV. These results are encouraging and highlight some important points. It is important to recognize that although PV is a chronic disease, it requires immediate attention with optimal treatment and early referral to a center of expertise. While we continue to develop treatments with the goal of curing these diseases, we can optimize available treatments to achieve remissions and improve the lives of MPN patients across the country and worldwide. These important research studies could not be done without your generous support. And for that, we and our patients thank you for your contributions. Thank you. Thank you.